Hi class. <clears throat> Some of you were wondering today how on earth you could go about doing the uh, BMI calculator form. You were wondering how you could uh, grab numbers from users with a form and how you would get PHP to do some math. Um, let me share a solution on how to do a basic addition calculator and then you can see if you can work that into a BMI calculator. So just to get started, I'm going to create a new view for my calculator.php. And just to get started, I want my code to be really, really short. Calculator is coming. Mostly because I make errors all the time, and so do you. So does everybody. But it's just easier and quicker finding errors in few lines of code compared to looking for errors and not finding them in many lines of code. So when you're developing, write few lines of code, test, debug any errors and move on to writing a few extra lines. Here's my calculator view, returning a basic string, calculator is coming. In order to load it, I'm going to want a menu item for it. That should set a page variable equal to calculator. It must match the name of the file. Because that way, my index.php will load the file and have its returned string echoed on index. Addition calculator will be the uh, label for it. Let's take a look. There's the menu item. If I click it, I get to see, hey, calculator is coming. That tells me my navigation and my view is set up properly. No errors so far. What I want really is for the calculator to show a calculator form. So new view, new PHP file in my views folder. Calculator form, a PHP script. And I want that to return a form element. <clears throat> and that form should have a label, add to numbers, should be my label. I need input field, a type equals text, as that will give me a single line text field. It should have a name attribute. Let's use A for the first, B for the next, put a plus character in between, and then finally do a submit button of name calculate. The submit button should show a text like do the math. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's take a look. Oh, hang on. I'm missing a bit here. So I've got this nice form, I guess. But I'm not really including it from the base view, the, the calculator file that will be loaded by my index. So a variable dollar out equals include ones views calculator dot o hyphen form dot php dollar out. So the variable dollar out will hold whatever I get returned back from views calculator form dot php. And if everything goes correctly, I would like to see this form returned. Remembered in dollar out, and dollar out will be returned from my calculator script to index, where it will be concatenated onto my pages, onto my page content. Finally, to be echoed. Let's take a look, and there it is. Add to numbers. 
four and eight. Do the math. Welcome to my recipe site. So I get to reload <laughs> a completely other page, which is because I'm missing a bit here in my form. Every form needs a method attribute and an action attribute. The action attribute should indicate what script, what PHP script that should run when the form is submitted. And I want to reload the calculator page. So, ah, oh, come on, page equals calculator. Index.php question mark page equals calculator. That should reload my index file and have the index file load my calculator. For my dynamic navigation, I'm already using get variables. So for my forms, I want to be using post variables to make sure they don't interfere with each other. Let's try that. Refresh. Add two numbers, one and nine. Do the math. So submitting the form will reload index.php page as calculator. The form will be cleared out because it's refreshed. And the math, well, PHP isn't really doing the math at this point. I'd like to change that from calculator. When the form is submitted, I'd like to add those two numbers a user um, entered. When I look at the HTML, I can see that the form uses post. So that means submitting, submitting the form will encode post variables. And one of those will have the name calculate. That means if PHP can find a post variable with the name calculate, well, then the form must have been submitted. So, uh, calculator was submitted, new variable, So if there is a post variable named calculate, if such a variable is set, that must mean the form was submitted. So if the calculator was submitted, dollar out form was submitted. PHP will soon do the math. Let's try that. Reload the page. Add a couple of numbers here. Do the math. OK. Form was submitted. PHP will soon do the math. If I enter some numbers and submit the form, form was submitted. PHP will soon do the math. So these lines of code will check if the form was submitted. And if it was, we get to see a different output. I'd like to grab those values. The first number will be encoded as a post variable with the name A. So dollar $A equals dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quotes, A. Semicolon at the very end. The second field has another post variable with the name B. All right. Uh, on, wrong line. So dollar B equals post B. I'm really declaring PHP variables to remember whatever a user typed into my form. Sum equals dollar $A plus dollar $B. Output could be dollar $A plus 
tell it b equals dollar sum. Let's try that. 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2. Oh, that's marvelous, isn't it? It's badly formed HTML, though. That's much, much better. A paragraph, and if I type 5 plus 6, do the math. 5 plus 6 equals 11. What happens? I'd like you to notice the difference between the plus character there and the plus character there. In the first case, it's really the addition operator, meaning the value of A will be added with the value of B. 5 plus 6, for example. The sum of that addition will be remembered, stored in a new variable dollar sum. Here in dollar out, something different is happening. I've got a string, and that string will show a paragraph with the value, say, 5, and then the literal character plus. And this plus sign will be understood as a literal character because it's entered inside a string delimited by, in this case, double quotes. So that is a literal character plus, whereas here, with no string, it'll be understood as the addition operator. And there you have it. That's a very basic calculator. Based on that, I certainly hope you'll all be able to do a BMI calculator. I look forward to seeing your solutions. Thanks for watching.